Hi, I'm Nikki from Sullivan Miniature Studio. Today, we're going to be taking a look at quick and easy fire. This is the method that we use for a quick tabletop fire that can easily be adapted for different styles, types of fire, as well as other things like magical flames. Before we do, this video is made possible by our patrons over at patreon.com. If you'd like to support us and check out our other tutorials, visit patreon.com slash Sullivan Miniature Studio. Thank you for your support. To get started, here's everything that I'll be using for this tutorial. For example, I'm actually using a torch from one of the Salamander's Upgrade Sprues. So it is a little bit smaller, but it has some really nice sculpted detail for the flame that we'll be using to follow along. For our paints, I have a white that covers really well, so this is going to be our base coat. I'm using Pure White from Reaper. Then I also have a nice bright yellow and golden yellow from Monument Hobbies. Uh, and then I have a couple of Citadel paints, so I have Troll Slayer Orange and Mephiston Red. So that is what I'm going to be working with today. Our first step is to do a base coat of our white on our torch. So I'm going to put a little bit of my pure white on my palette. Uh, this will probably take a couple coats depending on the white that you are using. So I'm just going to take a regular brush here, make sure we give an all over coat of our pure white. So this is the entire flame. Uh, as we are working this flame, there's one thing to keep in mind and that is that the flame is going to be the brightest with our lightest, brightest colors at the source of the heat. So as we're working these flames, and you can see it in our example from the salamanders, the brightest flame is at the middle of this torch, and then we'll be working these uh, darker colors up toward the end of the flame. So I'm just giving this a nice coat. I will probably come back and do a second coat, so we will hop in once this is dry. All right, we're back. I did go ahead and do a second coat of our pure white just to give an all over base coat of our white to make sure that it is nice and even. So you can see here, I've got it everywhere. Uh, I also took some time to go ahead and put our other colors on the palette. That way I can work quickly and we can actually do a little bit of blending on the flame while it's still wet. So first up, we're gonna take our yellow. So this is golden yellow from Monument Hobbies. And I am just gonna do a layer all over the base of the, the torch here. Uh, as I'm working, I'm not worried about the torch itself, so I'm being kind of messy because I'm going to come back and paint that later. So just making sure I get full coverage over this white up into all the little creases here. I am going to take the yellow kind of halfway up the flame. That way when we go on to our next layer, we can kind of blend around it. So there we go. I really like this golden yellow from Monument. It's really bright yellow that covers very well very well uh, yellow and white are two of those colors that a lot of people have trouble getting good coverage with this monument one makes it very very easy all right so there we go we've got yellow all around the base of that flame there rinse our brush we're going to move on to the orange which i am using troll slayer orange as we work this orange we want it to be kind of the mid-tone of our flame but we also want to pull it down into the yellow and this is going to give the illusion of the flames kind of flickering and moving so you can see here i'm doing the initial layer here right in kind of the center of the flame kind of pulling it up toward our tip but i am making sure that i'm also pulling it into these recesses down here so you can see i've got the yellow on kind of the outside sculpted area the orange coming in to the recesses I'm going to do this on both sides. It's a little hard for me to see on that other side here, but we'll make sure we get this side all set. Keeping that yellow. Got our orange. As I'm working, it is blending a little bit because the paints are still wet. This is actually going to help with our gradients. So don't be afraid of these colors mixing as we go. Here you can see, we do kind of the edge of this flame here. Just kind of blend that out. Now you've still got the yellow coming through, you've got that orange mid-tone. I'm not worried about going all the way to the tip of the flame because we still have our red to go, but there is kind of our, our first pass with that orange. We can keep working this as we go. I'm going to go ahead and move on to our Mephiston. This is Mephiston Red from Citadel, and it's kind of the same thing. We're going to do our main color here at the top of the flame, and then we're going to pull it down little bit into our orange so kind of the undersides of these flames here but 
with a lot of these raised areas, we want to keep the, the orange just to kind of sell that effect that they are moving, kind of flickering. So you can see there, it's a little bit stronger between our, than it was between our yellow and our orange. That's okay. Just kind of blend it out a little bit. And I do want a little bit at this top larger flame. So I'll come back, grab some more Mephisto. Just kind of highlight or uh, layer here at the top. I feel like I lost a little bit of my orange. So because these are all still wet and you can play with them, pull in a little bit more orange. And I'll actually pull in a little bit more of our yellow too. Make sure we don't lose that here on the outside. All right, I'll flip it over and kind of do on the other side here. Again, it's a little hard <laughs> just because it's a separate piece here. But working that orange down into the recesses here. We'll make sure we get some up under this one. And then moving to our reds. So the fist in red. Get the rest of this tip here that I couldn't get when it was flipped. And then pulling that red in with the orange. Make sure we got it out. And that is the quick and easy method for fire. So that is where I kind of start depending on the piece that I'm working on. Uh, so with that, if you have a model with a larger flame, let's say this goes on further or it's uh, more of a campfire, you can actually add some other reds to uh, make it a little darker at the tips. So corn red is another one that I will use. It's a darker red and you can work all the way up to black at the edge of the tips. If you're looking for a softer glow, you can also go into more of a color like this. This is Golden Glow from Reaper and it gives kind of that softer yellow a little bit closer to white. So if you like more of that soft light there in the center, that is another option too. So just some different colors you can play with to kind of affect how this fire looks. I also mentioned magical flames. If you keep the same kind of principles in mind while you're working on those, let's say you've got a sorcerer or maybe a zinch demon army, uh, you can work up from your whites and your light colors to a darker color. So this can be used for magical flames as well. Thank you so much for coming to check out this tutorial. If you'd like more tutorials, make sure you subscribe or check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash Sullivan Miniature Studio. We also stream on Twitch. We stream miniature painting three times a week at twitch.tv slash Nikki Coles. I'll be sure to put links to all of those websites as well as the materials we use today down in the description below. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time.